All right, today we're going to go through the complete process of setting up a Fire Stick with Kodi and repositories. Enjoy. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go to the top and go all the way over to settings. Then you're going to go over to device, down to developer options. And you're going to want to be sure both of these are turned on. Typically, unknown sources is turned off. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. All right, once they are both on, you can go ahead and hit the back arrow. And again, one more time. And go over to the top, all the way to the search bar, and type in ES Explorer. All right, so this one he highlighted right here is the one we're going to select. Go ahead and download it. All right, once it's downloaded, go ahead and click on open. going to take a second to load up and whenever it does it's going to have a pop-up just hit your back arrow on your remote go all the way over to the bottom where it says new make sure type is set to web and then the path you might want to pause the video once it's fully typed in but it's HTTP s colon slash slash Cody dot TV hit OK it's gonna load in for you Scroll all the way down to Android, click Android. Now you're going to scroll down for older releases. Click where it says here. Now you're going to go down to Android once again. Go ahead and click it. Go down to ARM the first one click it now this is all the different versions of Kodi you can go ahead and click the top one after old alright once you click it most likely nothing's gonna happen so we gotta go down here to the bottom where it says more and hit open in browser this forces the link to open We're going to open it with ES Explorer and hit just once. Now this part can take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead for you. All right, the download's almost complete. All right, it's done. So we're going to go ahead and hit open file. Go down and then over to install. You're going to head down on your remote and go over to install. All 
All right, you're going to go down on your remote again and over to open. Now Cody is installed. So it's opening Cody for the first time. After this, we can install the repositories. So just like we did with the Fire Stick itself, we have to go to the settings and enable unknown sources. First thing is to go to the gear at the top. Go over to system settings. Go ahead and select it. Go down to add-ons. And we're going to flip on the switch for unknown sources. Hit yes. Go ahead and hit the back arrow on your remote. Now we're going to go down to file manager. Add source. Click none. Now, once again, you can pause the video if you need to. And go over to OK. Now you're going to go down. I always change it to where there's a period in the front. That way it shows at the top of the list. You don't have to. Hit OK. And then go down and hit OK. Hit the back arrow, back arrow again, and go down to add-ons. Now we're going to go up to this little box. We're going to install from a zip file. And at the top, repo. Now we're going to go to repository.misfitmods.zip. It's going to automatically install in the background and let us know when it's done. All right, it's already done. Now we're going to go to install repository, misfit mods, program add-ons, misfit mods wizard, and hit install. It's going to download and you're going to be able to see it download. All right, it's almost done. All right, so now you can see the add-on is installed. Go ahead and click it and hit dismiss. All right, now you get this little window. Unless you want to tweak any settings, just hit continue. Go ahead and go to the build menu. I got the pop-up twice because I selected it twice on accident. All right, so this is a list of a whole bunch of different mods you can do for your Fire Stick. We're going to go with Hard Knox Krypton version 3.7, the most current for November 2017. Since this is a new Fire Stick, we're going to go with standard install. If you have an old version of Hard Knox or old version of any other mod, you would go with fresh install. All it does is clean it off before installing. So we're going to go with yes install. This is the longest of the installs. We're going to do a jump cut to the end of it. All right, so it's almost done here. A little window is going to pop up. You can hit either one. I'm going to go with force close. I'm going to back out of this, go to the home screen. Now we're going to go down to where it says your apps and games all the way over. See all. If you go down to the bottom, you should have a new one, Cody. Now I'm going to click the options button, the one with the three parallel lines, and go to move to front, and then click it to open. Now we have the load in screen for Hard Knocks. For the first opening, it usually takes one to five minutes. All right, now that it's open, you want to give it about five to ten minutes to fully load all the scripts. As you can see here, it's fully installed. All right, well, I'm Matt. I hope this helped you, and thanks for watching.